Microsoft, the American technology giant and one of the largest companies in the world, with a market value exceeding $2 trillion, and the number of employees, 114,000 employees around the world, make it one of the most powerful companies in history. In this video, we will not be able to talk about the history of Microsoft as this will take a long time, but we will talk about the most Microsoft products famous ever, Microsoft Windows. So let's start. But before, don't forget to subscribe our channel to receive the latest videos. Back to the beginnings. While the original Windows operating system was still under development, Bill Gates, the CEO of Microsoft, wanted to call it Interface Manager. The name was used internally for a while, with plans to use the same name when the OS was eventually released to the public. However, when Microsoft's marketing department heard the name, they convinced Gates to change it to Windows which is a reference to the windows on the computer screen that users interact with while using the operating system. The operating system was released as Windows 1.0 in 1985. Windows 1 marking the first step in the evolution of Windows this graphical operating system opened up new possibilities for IBM-compatible computers. With its innovative graphical user interface and mouse support, Windows 1 laid the foundation for future advancements. Two years later, in 1987, Windows 2 was launched. This version focused on improving speed and graphics, introducing 16-color VGA graphics and allowing overlapping windows. It also brought the convenience of keyboard shortcuts enhancing user productivity. Windows 3, released in 1990, was a major upgrade in Windows history. It introduced enhanced features, including improved icons and support for 256 colors, making for a more modern and vibrant user interface. Windows 3 also brought the ability to run MS-DOS programs within the Windows environment, providing greater versatility for users. A significant update came in the form of Windows 3.1. With native networking support and true type fonts, Windows 3.1 empowered users with greater connectivity and publishing capabilities. It was a step forward in creating a more seamless and productive computing experience. In 1995, Windows 95 took the world by storm. It introduced the iconic start button and start menu, revolutionizing the way users interacted with their computers. Windows 95 was a 32-bit operating system. that embraced multimedia and offered built-in internet support, setting the stage for the digital age. Windows 98, launched in 1998, brought even more advancements. So we can just daisy chain up, up to 127 USB devices here. That's an everyday task. Let's plug it in. It's going to say, hey, I see you've plugged in a new device. And it's going to load in the appropriate drivers. You'll notice that this scanner build, whoa. That must, be, uh, that must be why we're not shipping Windows 98 yet. Absolutely. <laughs> With support for DVD and USB drives, it enhanced user experiences and introduced features like disk cleanup, Windows Update, and multi-monitor support. Windows 98 became a popular choice for its improved functionality and compatibility. Windows 2000, released in 2000 for sure, 
aimed to replace previous versions with its business-oriented approach. This edition introduced NTFS 3.0 and brought improved plug-and-play support, Windows driver model, and transparency with layered windows. Windows 2000 catered to the needs of businesses, providing enhanced security and stability. October 2001 saw the launch of Windows XP, one of Microsoft's most successful products. Built on the Windows NT kernel, it catered to mainstream consumers and offered improved stability and security. With its fresh visual appearance, enhanced networking capabilities, and built-in CD burning, Windows XP left a lasting impact. Windows Vista arrived in 2007, sporting a sleek new look and feel. Microsoft focused on transparency, search, and security. Although Vista faced mixed reviews, it introduced features like Windows Arrow, Windows Shell, and Windows Defender, while optimizing PC gaming with DirectX 10. Windows 7, released in 2009, built upon the foundations of Windows Vista, It prioritized wireless devices and offered improved speed, stability, and ease of use. Windows 7 gained immense popularity, becoming the go-to operating system for many users and businesses. Windows 8, launched in 2012, brought a significant shift in design and functionality. With its tile-based start screen and emphasis on touch-based devices, Windows 8 aimed to cater to the evolving landscape of tablets and touchscreen laptops. While it introduced new features like live apps and faster startup, its interface changes received mixed responses from users. This made Windows back with Windows 8.1 in 2013, which saw several improvements, including the return of the Start button. This brings us to Windows 10, released in 2015. Windows 10 introduced a range of new features, including support for universal apps, a revamped start menu, and improved security measures. It became the first version of Windows to receive ongoing updates rather than being replaced by a new version. But that didn't last long. Now on the horizon, we have Windows 11, building upon the foundation of Windows 10. Windows 11 promises a fresh visual design, enhanced productivity features, and improved performance. With its centered start menu, new multitasking capabilities, and support for Android apps, Windows 11 represents Microsoft's commitment to innovation and user experience. And there you have it, the remarkable evolution of Windows. From the early days of Windows 1 to the modern advancements of Windows 11, each version has played a significant role in shaping the digital landscape. As we look forward to the future, we can't help but wonder what exciting innovations await us. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Please press like button and tell us what is your favorite version of Windows in comments. Have a nice day.